Hey, what's up? Nothing much. Just waiting. It's gonna be hot as fuck today. You can already tell. Yeah, it sucks. If this bus doesn't come and take me to hell in the next five minutes, I'm not going. What's wrong? Nothing. Just tired and stuff. What's your name? Danny. Uh, are you new? Yeah, I just moved here last night. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'll probably just be in the guidance counselor all day, picking out my classes. I've done it before, so it'll be fine. What's your name? Dolly. Like Dolly Parton? No. It's Dolly Page. That's cool. Where are you from? Phoenix, so all of this is weird as fuck. Do all the kids cuss a lot in Phoenix too? I mean, don't all kids cuss? It's fun, you know? Yeah, I agree. Cussing is a shit. I don't expect it from a girl like you. You know? No. I mean, like... Like what? You're pretty. I mean... You're beautiful. Thank you. You're sweet. Uh, do you live around here? Like, close? Yeah, just around the corner. You? Not too far. So, when does the bus get here? Well, I've come to realize there's no exact time to rely on the stupid thing. It's supposed to be here around 7.30 sharp, but it's fucking slow, so it's delayed a lot. Like how late? Sometimes 20 minutes late. It gives no fucks. Sometimes doesn't come at all. Why? Some of things like breaking down and whatnot. Like, I've come to understand this, see? Like, there's a lot of kids, and it goes a long ways, like 15 miles, and, and there's a lot of kids, and we're fucking unpredictable. Like, maybe a kid passes out, or falls on the stairs going on. Like, it's a small town. Half the kids were born and raised here, and, uh, well, they ride the bus every day. And the bus drivers wait for them. They know their schedules. Like, they know that shit. Like, that's probably what's happening right now. And the bus driver's late, and it's the first day of school, so everyone else is. Well, then I guess we're just gonna have to wait. <laughs> oh, I'm not waiting. What are you gonna do? I don't go. You don't go to school? The only reason I'm still here is because of you. What? Well, the bus fucking pisses me off. I gave it five minutes five minutes ago, and I'd be down the street or something. But I'm here. Yeah, Dolly. <laughs> well, I mean, do you want to ditch me? You could be waiting here forever. It's the first day. Yeah, I know, but I really don't want to go. I mean, I could explain it more to you if you want, but, I mean, it's a small town. We can cover it today. I can show you the ropes. All right, but if I want to go to school, you'll take me, right, Danny? Yeah. All right, let's go. Cool.
It's beautiful out here. You ever been here before? No. It's not that different, though. Than Phoenix? Yeah, you've been there, right? You know. Yeah, I mean, it basically gets just as fucking hot. Just really seems like you can never mention how fucking hot it always is not. I think you're right, though. Today seems nice. It's hot, but it's pretty still. I like all of the cactus and dirt. I mean, I don't actually care about it that much, but I try to appreciate it more and more. Do your parents think everything is beautiful? Yeah, that's like what I mean. It's weird because I just don't fucking care about the flowers and the trees. I don't care about any of it. But my mom does. She loves it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I like to try and see the pretty shit everywhere, and I barely do. So it's weird because you feel that inside of you. You feel yourself starting to like it. Damn, Dolly. I know what you're talking about. I also know that you feel it more than I do because I fucking hate this place. Everyone does. You must be more mature than me. Hey, why do you hate it so much? I get it, everyone hates where they come from to a certain extent, but you seem to really fucking hate it. I'm sorry. It's this town. I just don't get it. I wonder where you're running away. Why? Dolly, I have so much reasons to not like school. I just don't have any friends anymore. Shit at home with my mom is just shit. I know everyone say they hate where they are, but it's just different here, I swear. The motto is, I hate this place, and I just want to get the fuck out of here. But, crazy thing is, nobody ever does. I don't know, I just came here. I don't even know you. You hold my hands. Yeah, I liked you right off the bat. Just don't spoil everything for me by exaggerating. I like school, and I like my mom. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to. I'll just tell you how everything is, okay? I promise. Oh shit! Come on, it's my mom! Come on, let's go. There's no way she saw us. What would she do anyway? Really, I'm curious. Well, Dolly, in this situation, she would stop above us and yank my ass out of here, and I would have to return to school. So she cares. She cares a lot. <laughs> well, I think we're good because I'm not witnessing you being dragged out of here right now. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Look. I'm just taking a breath. Danny. Dolly. Danny and Dolly, together forever. <laughs> Whatever you want. Seriously. So, what time do we go back? Whenever you want. You want to go now? No. Do we have to go home when school gets out? <laughs> I don't. Do you? No. So, you want to hang out for a while? I have to go home eventually, but yeah, you said you were going to show me everything. I will too. Well, everything I want to show you, you know, the shit isn't worth seeing. What about the school? The school's worth it, yeah. I could show you all the cool teachers too, before you go choose your classes, that way you have a good year. What's your favorite class? History with Mr. Gilroy. Why history? Well, history is great because you get to learn about your country and the rest of the world. I like it because it's like stories, but they're all true. Who's Mr. Gilroy? He's a history teacher. One of them, at least. He's the one you fucking want, if you ask me. What's so great about Mr. Gilroy? Nothing, really. He's fucked up. Nobody likes him. In fact, he's probably the biggest piece of shit in the whole school. I think he's cool, though. Everyone says... They've heard him beat his wife before. What? Yeah. No way. I swear to fucking God. Well, how do they know? They had to have gotten it from somewhere. <laughs> well, apparently, the story goes like this. 
It was the end of the first day of the week, so Monday, and his wife and kids had just went to bed. Good night. Love you, sweetie. What? I swear to fucking God. You were there? No. I forgot his name, but he's Mr. Gilroy's neighbor. Anyway, he does what every teacher does after school. Whatever the fuck they want. Fucking F's. That's all it's gonna fucking be. It's F's. More F's. And F's. Fuck you, Tommy. I don't give a fuck. Hello? Daisy! What? I've been texting you all day long. Am I gonna sit here and jack off all by myself? Baby, I told you. Now do yourself a favor and get ready. Where are you? I swear to God. Yeah, I swear. And then... And then what? What happens? Danny, what?
Just as we all suspected, today is a scorcher. Temperatures will reach as high as 115 around the Bernie Valley, so just remember everyone, stay hydrated. And if there was a day to stay inside, today would be that day. It doesn't look like the rest of the week's going to be much better, so be careful out there, everybody. And if you're going to have fun outside, just remember, bring water. Fortunately, we have AC in the school. What the fuck are you, Dolly? I don't know. I'm in the middle of the fucking desert in some wash. Are you? It's so hot. I'm exhausted. Do you hear that speaker? Yeah. We gotta get out of here. Are you mad? No, why? That story? Yeah, shut up, fucked up. I was choking. But I thought you said he beat his wife. He does. That was just like the beginning, you know? I didn't get very far in. I need water. I know. Me too. We're fucked. We can just go to the school. They have drinking fountains and air conditioning. No, not the school. We're gonna fucking die, Danny. We're not gonna die right now. Maybe not right now, but we can't just sit out here all day without water. I know, I know. We can go to a hardware store or something, like somewhere around Why here. the f fuck won't you just go to the school? You said if I want to go there, we can go, and I don't want to go to fucking Home Depot. I know. It's just, we have to watch out for this fucking psychopath, so like... Does he bully you? No, I mean, he bullies everyone. You too? Well, I mean, he's not really a bully. He's a psychopath. Like, literally a fucking murderer. What? That's what they think about him. He's 19 and like, he's not like any other kid, I swear. This kid, Slick McCarthy, he'll be the death of you and me. He's gonna be the kid that's gonna show up to school with a fucking assault rifle and paint the hallways red with kid's blood. I'm not kidding. He will. One day, he's gonna do it. Why? How do you know for sure? Why don't you do something? All right, look, we can go to the school. We're just going to watch out for him. It's not that big of a deal. I just care about you a lot, actually. I don't have any friends, and you're more than that. I know we literally just met this morning, but I have to warn you about this fucking asshole, because if he hurts you, well, fuck. He used to be just a normal theater kid. It was a school play and Slick happened to be the star. The thing is, 
He was actually good. Everyone said he was going to be famous until this particular night. Nobody fucking gets it. Slick's partner who was with him that night said he was taking it way more serious than normal when normally he's already fucking psychotic about it. I think we all should have known. I mean, he makes his partner go all the way to this random fucking faraway stage. Okay, Amanda. I'm counting on you to help me win this. Don't fuck this up this time. On the count. One, two, three, four. Uh... thing is he used to not be like that but if there's one thing the whole school can agree on is that the man has passion if there's anybody who wants it more than anybody else it's slick McCarthy Stop what? These stories, they're not fucking true. I'm sorry. Dolly, they are true. That's not what happened. I swear it's what happened. Well, I don't know for sure. I, I don't have proof. But it's what they say everyone knows. <laughs> Please. 
They're just rumors. I could show you him. If we go to the school, I could show you him. And you won't talk about it anymore. You'll know. When you see this kid, you'll know he's evil. I mean, I don't know what to say. If you want me to take you to the school, let's go. I'm going home. Wait, Dolly, hold on. What, Danny? What about me? What about you? Go home. I don't have any friends. Go to the school and get friends, Danny. What the fuck? I've been to school and I've had friends. They really aren't them, I told you. It's not normal here. Everything I tell you is the truth. Everyone here knows everything about each other and I just can't get along with people who will take everything I have until I'm just another piece of shit in this fucked town, Dolly. I don't want to go home. I want to stay with you. You just scare me. I love you. What's wrong with you and your parents? Nothing. You said she cares about you. So why isn't home a place where you can go? Do you really love me? Because I really love you, and I knew a while ago. I mean, I don't really know my dad. It's just me and my mom. I mean, I can go home. She cares a lot, but I don't really care. What's her name? Emily. Dad? Hey, sweetie, how's it going? Oh, good. Good. Just thought I'd call and see how things are going. Oh, we're doing okay. It got, uh, you know, it got to 120 today. Did you know that? No, I didn't. It's hot here, but not that hot. Dad, Danny's not here. What? He's at school. No, he's not. School gets out at 4. It's 6.30. I've called him over and over. It's not... It's not what you're probably thinking. He's been so evasive. I mean, he's, he always is, but... I think he's ran away, Dad. And I'm not just freaking out. He told me this morning. I mean, he always says shit like that. What am I supposed to make of it? He's just a kid. Emily! Call the police, all right. Do not go looking for him. <laughs> Baby? <laughs> I, I just... I don't know what to do. <laughs> Call the police. Do it now.
are you doing? Get away from the edge of that pool. You know you can't swim. You cannot leave me now. I can't go home. Come on, let's go. We've been here too long. It's dark now. Come on. I'm tired. <sighs> Fuck. It's late. Come on. Where are we going? Getting out of the stitch. I'll get you water. before. And it's beautiful out now. We've wasted so much time doing nothing. What the fuck are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Take me somewhere. I'll take you home. No. What the hell? I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Don't wait, lust, that's in shit. Holy damn, you win, bitch. Speak it out loud, let me hear the words. Lights, camera. Catch my drift, the lingo Certain sound, yeah, you hear it ring now Quick tempo, or should we take it slow? Not much time, just make it go And tell me what the fuck you want, just let me know Just tell me what you want, just tell me what you want Let me go Your guilty pleasure, but I love it, baby. Feeling for me like a white eye. 
damn it's prime I'm just your guilty pleasure, your guilty pleasure But I love it baby No more of this madness Be glad that we had this All good things and sometime Okay babe, just one grind One more for old time's sake We'll stop all this and make time wait Honest though, no rush babe But I need you bad, I'm about to bust babe Your guilty pleasure, your guilty pleasure, but I love it, baby. First, what I thought you wanted was love. <laughs> then you swore over and over, that's what it was. Now you only call me Jones, and like I was drugs. And I'm your guilty pleasure, your guilty pleasure, but I love it, baby. Feeling for me like a white eyed line. I got your phone, and in hopes it's the right eye time. Look down, I saw your number, and damn, it's prime. I'm just your guilty pleasure, your guilty pleasure, but I love it, baby. So what's the plan? What do you mean? This is where you wanted to take me, isn't it? Or are we just resting? This is it. <laughs> Where's the water? Somewhere around here. There's a water fountain somewhere. Are you all right? Yeah. What time is it? I don't know. It's got to be midnight. You think? Pretty sure. Because the moon, it's all the way up. It's got to be midnight. How do you know that? My dad told me when I was six or seven, he said, Midnight's the easiest to tell, because if it is, the moon will be directly up. I was probably freaking out. How bad? It has to be bad. He's probably driving around searching for me. You think your dad's driving around searching for you? My dad's dead. Are you serious? Yeah, he died yesterday. That's why I moved here. Yesterday was the first day of school at my old school. And in the mornings, I like to play music as I get ready. I do it every day. You always look like a whore just like that, Dolly. Come here. Oh no! Come oh, on! Breakfast is waiting. I guess you'll have to wait for me. Apparently, your mother wants me first. <sighs> You know I'd 
never let your delicious food go cold, baby. There is no breakfast, Bill. I just want you to take me one last time. <laughs> You want to know the worst part of it all? I didn't know what he was doing. Like, he just scared the shit out of me, but he always did that. He touched you? Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't be. You don't understand. Nobody actually really does unless it's happened to you. And it's okay too, really. I don't expect you to, and I'm not mad. I'm not sad either about my dad. He abused me for a long time, and I had to live with that. The crazy thing is, I'm not special or some shit. A lot of girls go through this, and they just deal with it. And you'll never know because they just fucking deal with it. What are we supposed to do? Tell people? I'm sorry, Dolly. Danny, do you want to know what I asked my mom when I saw my dad laying in a puddle of blood? I just looked up at her and I didn't cry. I still haven't cried. But I said... Why didn't you just shoot him with a gun, Mom? She said she doesn't believe in guns, but in that instance, she would have shot him in the head. She said that. She said if she could have obtained a gun and shot my dad, that his death would be one of the very few that would be qualified as just. She went on to tell me that too many people have died from gun violence. But this one, your father deserved it. Crazy, huh? Why'd you tell me? What do you mean, why? It's just... You told me that you said that you didn't tell any people. But because what are you supposed to do, right? Yeah, Danny. I love you, though. I told you because I love you. You're all I have. I want to run with you, away, like you said. I can't go home. My mom's going to jail and they're going to take me away. Are you sure? I'm not coming back. I don't have anybody, just you. You were right, okay? You made it clear this town fucking sucks. I just wanted to have the best day with you today. And then we leave. I'll never leave. I love you. But I promise I'll never hurt you. We can go somewhere and be happy with each other. I just want to be here for a minute. We have all the time in the world. Dolly. Dolly, wake up. We need to eat. <laughs>